We meet again. Huh. This place seems in good order. Though it is not as extensive as the Kujo clan's estate, I find it comfortable enough. So everything here was built according to your designs? I did not know you possessed such abilities. If we ever need to expand the Kujo clan residence, I'll be sure to find you. What's the matter? Are you unwilling to assist? Huh. Either way, I'm not here to twist your arm. You needn't worry. In fact, there is little that can be changed about the Kujo clan residence. I mean, it would never become a place like this, at least. I've never visited a place filled with such vitality and happiness. I have not yet mentioned any specifics, and you already agree so readily? Huh. Either way, I'm not here to twist your arm. Seeing as I have nothing better to do, I'll comply. I suppose I have grown accustomed to spending most of my time in solitude. I seldom have the opportunity to speak with others, so perhaps it'd be better for you to start, and I answer. All right, ask away. Hmm? Interesting. Your expression reminds me of my subordinates when they are giving a report. But I should remind you that I've never viewed you as a subordinate. It's difficult to converse with me, isn't it? To be honest, I've been studying methods of discourse lately, in hopes of altering my stern appearance. However, there are many subtleties in communication, it is difficult to grasp in such a short time. If mastering conversation is akin to the skill of archery, then I am confident I can improve with more practice. Huh. Good. In that case, I select you as my training partner. You can come talk to me as often as you like. Is that all right? I do, but if I ask, then you must reply. If you fail to do so, then you will receive the due punishment. Have you made up your mind? <sighs> it's difficult to converse with me, isn't it? For as long as I can remember, I've been accustomed to handling various matters myself. Though, I once did have the thought of raising pets. Due to various circumstances, I was never able to. Nothing in particular. I just thought it would be nice to have a companion. The Commission is a whirlwind of people and unexpected complications, so I often relish opportunities to get away for assignments in the field. Whenever I think about it, I can only conclude that I have no time to care for a pet. Please, forget that I ever mentioned it. But growing up without a companion is not a pleasant experience. Everyone is the same in this regard. Pets, people, even Tengu. Ha, <laughs> I suppose you are right. If I were to keep a pet here, I would certainly need to consult you first. What kind of pet do you think would be best? I know. How about a red-horned lizard? It's a solitary creature and doesn't require much interaction. A cat? How could I tell whether it's in a good or bad mood? I have no experience in this matter. I'm not entirely sure if I'm qualified to be a pet's master. However, because this is a matter between the two of us, you must also hold up your end of the bargain. Hmm. To make things easier for you, I will take responsibility for the most difficult part. Playing and interacting with it. Exactly. You will be responsible for feeding, and cleaning up after it. That's all. Oh, but first and foremost, we must come up with a memorable name for our pet. There is no rush. We can discuss it further when we have some ideas to share. A dog? You can determine their mood just by looking at their wagging tail, right? I have no experience in this matter. Morning. I have already completed five sets of bow exercises. If you are up to it, 
I would not mind accompanying you for another five. Going to bed at this hour? Perhaps there's something on your mind. If so, there is no harm in telling me. If not, then all the better. There's no reason for you to worry needlessly. If there's nothing else, then, good night. It's you. Perhaps you have come just to see me? It's much livelier here than the plain of pure silence and tranquility that I'm used to. No, not at all. Clamor and commotion are strictly external. My inner being shall remain tranquil as ever. Thank you for your concern. Um... Will you remain here a while longer? <laughs> With you by my side, though our mouths stay silent, my heart is at peace. Your companionship... This is one change that I shall not contest. Such lively activities stand in direct contrast to the notion of eternity. I'm afraid I'll have to consider it further. Um... Will you remain here a while longer? Yes. I just so happen to have something that I would like to ask you. I would like to know how you make such delicious desserts. Ahem. <clears throat> I mean, they certainly seem to suit my taste. I see. Though your attempts may fail, you will not give up future attempts because of a temporary setback. By making adjustments along the way, you compile what you've learned and accumulate experience. Is that what you mean? I see. I'll be sure to remember that. Now that I've benefited from your experience, I'll try to follow your instructions the next time I'm attempting optimizations on the Shogun. Hmm? Haven't I already mentioned that I cannot make food? However, the advice you gave me will benefit you as well. With a more powerful Shogun, I will be able to protect you from a myriad of dangers even more effectively. Hope. I would have never expected that trying to make desserts taste better was an expression of hope. But, no. The more I think about it, it can't possibly be that simple. Perhaps hope means the desire to satisfy the eater. I see. I'll be sure to remember that. Oh. Yes. Unsheathe your weapon. Hmm. Then I will come again once your preparation is complete. I have time. <laughs> I will use my blade to confirm whether you are out of practice or not. Naturally. The moment that blades are crossed in battle also becomes a kind of eternity. I shall use this moment to feel your inner being. A simple and direct method, yet more clear than any language could convey. It even allows me to verify my own existence. Huh? So you could see through my guys? Oh, I thought my impression was accurate enough. Hm. Never mind. I'll be honest with you then. I desire to spar with you. After all, few have ever proved capable of withstanding my blade. It would be a pleasure to train with you. However, I feared that you would be hesitant to strike me, so I used the identity of the Shogun. Oh, you don't refuse. May I assume you accept, then? <laughs> you should prepare yourself. I certainly won't go easy on you. Good morning. Oh, even such a trivial interaction fills me with motivation. Amazing. Oh, 
Has night fallen already? Then you'd best go have a rest. Good night. May your dreams be calm and peaceful.